So welcome back to the third tutorial. Uh, the, this is the third one after understanding how to do naming. It is still me, Kiza Thomas, with you. So here we are going to learn how to put in a survey. We are going to design our first survey. So you come to this, you click on name. So you can call your survey any name, you can call it survey one or the name of the survey that you are going to design. Then you can give it a description. I'm going to put my first survey. My first survey. So you can put in any. Then you choose the company that you are doing the survey for. So for today we are going to use Elite. And then you can put in the name of the engineer. So. My name is Kiza Thomas, so I'll use Kiza. Then after you put in that information, you go ahead to put in the start date. So since today is 6th of May, we are going to use 6th of May. And we can say we are going to take one week to complete, so up to 12th of May. So this is the start date and the end date. After that, you come to the instrument selection. It is always dependent on the program. Which kind of instrument are you using as a directional reader? So you can either inquire or uh, you go as per the program. So most times I recommend for practice purposes, you can use the normal. Because the normal allows you to use all. Then you also choose the type of survey tool. So this is always so much dependent on which type of landmark you're using. So for this landmark, this it doesn't allow you to choose the survey tool from here. So you come and click on the catalog. So in the catalog, it brings you different types of survey types. We have the gyro, we have inclination only, we have inertia, we have magnetic, we have spatial, and undefined. So you can choose any. Let's say for today, we can use the gyro survey type so they will bring for you different types of uh, gyro survey types so we can take hybrid for both and then you can choose any of the country for now i'll use the other so you click on ok so after you click on ok you come and also click on apply but don't click on ok so you click on apply once and then you come to here the second part which is the tie on so what does the tie on mean when we are starting drilling we always have where we start our drilling from so it can either be user defined where you can put in your measured depth you can put in the inclination where you're starting your drilling from or you can use from the surface where we have everything at zero 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 then this part which has from the survey this works when you have another survey that you have already done before. So it will be very much accurate and it will give you a right. So since we are having our first program today, we shall click on user. We shall click on from survey. So from the survey, it means that we have tied our well at the surface. So we click on apply and then OK. So now we are having a section where we are going to do our well trajectory. And here we conclude our third part of the training. So the next part we shall start from here. Thank you very much for attending up to this point.